No Obsidian Mauler is complete without the fast but powerful Slayer Staff, which is equipable at level 1 attack, but is only slightly inferior to the Rune Sword in its strength bonus. However, this requires 55 Slayer to equip. Fortunately, I have other Slayer related goals, such as unlocking the Slayer Ring and broader fletching. Discovering which wilderness tasks are viable for this account will be difficult, but my accomplishments at the end of it will be well worth the effort. It's time to train some Slayer. I'm going to use a lot of Expeditious Bracelets to pump up the amount of tasks that I complete more quickly so that I get the less range XP as possible and the more tasks complete so I can get Slayer points for broader fletching, which will help me train my fletching up for magic longbows and, or actually, no, ma magic shortbows rather, but also amethyst arrows. And hopefully I can get the herb sack with my Slayer points as well. That costs a lot though. So I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of Slayer. Okay, so one of them failed, but we have 25 out of 29 successful opals, which I will make into expeditious bracelets with my plenty of silver bars that I have. This is gonna be hard with one prayer, but yeah, let's see the first task for quite a while. Ice Warriors. Nice, 37 Slayer. 41 ranged, the first level in quite a while, and I expect to get many more throughout this Slayer grind. Nice, Ice Warrior task complete. On to task number four. At five, I can actually get points for this, which is what I'm after. Please, Ice Giants. Uh, that's the wrong kind of giant. Okie dokie. Wow, perfect timing. My cannon broke just as I finished the task. That's four in a row. And next time I can get some points. Lava dragons and I will die. Ice. Oh, that was such a brutal task. All right. Back to the ice warriors. PKer. He, he did not kill me. I'm very surprised at that. Level 55. Woo. All right. No. Oh my god, I completed my task. All right, stop firing. I'll just log out, to be honest. And then my cannon will stop firing. I will come back to 446 and pick it up. All right, new task, let's see it. Okay, I'll try that out. Never done that task before on this count. Hmm, it's gonna be hard to maneuver with no protection prayers, but I will do my best. Get out of here. Finally, I get some Slayer points. Oh wait, I've completed two tasks with when I got Slayer points. All right, six will do tasks complete and 50 Slayer points. I can now skip a task if I need to. 41 Slayer, 41 ranged. Next task, Revenants, okay. That's cute. Damn it, man. It's gonna be hard, but it's possible. Oh my gosh, thank God. This task was so bad. There we go, seven tasks complete. Hopefully I can escape this plate. You know what, I'm setting down my cannon. I don't even care. Like, I'm not losing that thing, and I can collect it from another world in Falador from Nilodian, so. Uh, the total loot from this place is three Revenant Bracelets, so not too bad, actually. And none of these guys can attack me. Feels good. Low level OP. I didn't die to a single player that entire task, but of course, after the task, I died. Please be easy. Uh, who am I kidding? None of the tasks are easy. Probably especially that one. Gosh, oh, the pain. Gonna take the easy way out and just make a burning amulet for myself so that I can teleport right to the lava maze. And that's where I'm gonna be doing my greater demon task. There are like three locations, but I'm pretty sure this is the best one. Oh, I'm finally here. Yes, this actually shouldn't be too bad of a task. 42 Slayer, let's see what I, ooh, Fever Spiders, never, never, never. Oh, that is so nice, yes. Woo, all right, beautiful. I only used like 320 cannonballs that entire task, and only saw two people, none of them PKers. So, wow, 100 Slayer points, that's a very good feels good, man. And two more tasks, scary until I have 10 tasks complete and I get a lot of Slayer points for that one. Looking forward to it. Okie dokie! Yay, that's pretty good. Easy task. It's the first easy task I've had. Beautiful. There we go. Yes, all right. That was the easiest task by far. Every other task that I've done has actually taken me like an hour to two hours, every single task. So for this one to last like 10 minutes, that's so nice. And now I have four skips if I need them, but 
I'm pretty much only doing this grind for the Slayer points so that I can unlock broader fletching, uh, the herb sack, and some other things. So I don't want to skip, and that's why I've been doing all these dreadful tasks. It seriously has been really, really bad. Please don't let that continue. They let it continue. Hey, my first mysterious emblem. Ooh. 125 points. Beautiful. I'm leaving that damn cannon there, because on the way out of here, I'm going to die. Like, I will probably die. I didn't die. Give me something with lots of legs, scorpions and spiders, please. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I'm disciplining myself. I need all the points I can get. 275 Slayer points. And yeah, that's the 11th wilderness task complete. Good stuff. Probably Chaos Element? No. Rogues. What? Uh... What? New Chaos Elemental Method? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I did... Okay. I did not expect that. I need to pick up my cannon. And I need to close the door so it cannot attack me. I didn't think you could shoot through that. That bar there. That's really cool. I like that. Let me try it on my main here. Let's see. Kill. Kill the Chaos Ellie. Die. Wow. Does it teleport you? I bet it does. Let's see. I'll just pray it a bit. Teleport me. Oh my god. Is <laughs> the wrong way, Brody? <laughs> oh man. Wow. That's so cool. 44 Slayer. 300 Slayer points. Spoders, please. No. It'll do. Oh my gosh. Please. No. Level 34, literally. My Bane. My Kryptonite. Jeez, look at that. No! He's skulled. He's probably just for Rev's PK, though. Please. He's, he's, we're safe. I think we're good. MSB, though. 50 range at 34 combat. All right, bear task complete. No! <laughs> That's gonna be hard. All right. I've never noticed that. Just one lesser demon strolling around by himself southeast of Anna Carl and like just north of Callisto what <laughs> I never noticed that I'm not killing that that's too slow for me it's just one nah need more than that two lesser demons does it attack through the fence moment of truth please do hmm. feels bad task complete let's see it Crystalia easy task 15 in a row with no skips that's a feels good and that might be the first skip, okay. Nice, 45 Slayer, and I will never kill those. Pretty easy, uh, 400 total points, new milestone for that one. Don't kill me, yay. Chaos Elemental, that, <laughs> that one is gonna be interesting to figure out. All right, this task is really bad, so goodbye and i'm gonna go ahead and skip this one. First task that i'm skipping actually so i'm quite proud of that one all right i've needed more food for wilderness slayer so i've just been to shiloh village and collected myself lots of raw trout and salmon now to cook this up that was also the first time i've trained fishing since hitting 99 50 cooking now oh you know what i've just decided i've decided that a hundred percent i do want the ring bling perk for when i go pking on this account because it is the only jewelry that's accessible to me that allows me to teleport in level 30 wilderness so yeah i might as well get it now because i am doing tasks anyway so it'll be helpful to teleport out of 30 wilderness just have to unlock it here and there it is Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. I have to get a little lucky. Hopefully, I don't have to skip three tasks in a row for the next one, because I'll have 25 points after this lesser demon task. But, yeah, let me just go ahead and buy some gems as well. There we go. And, yes. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Level 31 combat with Slayer Rings. Imagine. Oh, 17 tasks in a row completed. Not too shabby. Also got 46 range and 46 Slayer. Ah, don't kill me. This is the perfect time to use the Slayer Ring. Straight to the bank. Yes. Well, pretty close to it anyway. Be nice to me, Crystalia. Eh, it's not too bad. My accuracy with the cannon is dependent on my bonuses here. And I'm using a maple shortbow at 46 ranged. But 
Fortunately, I did just hit that level, so I can use the Adamant Crossbow, which has a massive range bonus of, I think, around like 78 or so. Yep, 78. So that will be much better than my accuracy of 29. So I'm going to have to get that, and I might as well start now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to train to 43 Fletching just by chopping down some logs, cutting them into bows and such. And then I'm going to use those silver bolts that I made to make 43 to 61 fletching. And that will allow me to make the adamant crossbow. Alright, going to very quickly complete the Kandarin Easy Diary so that I can chop two logs at once with the perk of the headband. Okay, okay, yep, we get the point. Alright. Oh, but... Oh, it's multi. It's multi still. What am I doing? I am such a goose. Uh, why don't I get, yay, okay, good. I might as well pick this up for the quest later. Attack of the Water Titan. But he has been defeated. Hey, Lantodime. Cool, magic potion. And the last task, Kandarin Diary completed. Well, the easy stages anyway. Yes, please. Woo, oh, I didn't even think about the antique lamp. Nice. Now we have it. Two logs at once. Five fletching. Whoa, what? Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit ridiculous. An elite clue from normal, what? I don't even know. Well, we probably can't do it, but if I get a ranger's tunic, that would be baller. Eight fletching too, nice. 10 fletching. I didn't realize this was so fast fletching XP per hour. You can do this at level one, so yeah, it's pretty good. Not too bad at all. 20 fletching, nice. All right, well, I think I can make air shafts out of oak logs now. And so I'm gonna do that until I can make oak longbows. That's just a better route for me. Let me just check that real quick. I think it gives me 10 XP for this. And then I also get 15 XP from making it into an arrow shaft. So, I think that is better until oak longbows. 25 fletching. Fortunately, I have AFK cut like 28,000 oak logs, just like sitting at Sears. So, I have plenty to get to 35 fletching for willow shortbows. 35 fletching, upgrading to the willows now. 40 fletching, time for willow longbows. Hmm, I can now make long tethered tipped bolts. Interesting. Will I ever do that? You shall see. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, 43 fletching. You can now make silver crossbow bolts. 375,000 to go. Oh my gosh. I did not know. Oh man. That changes everything. I did not know that you could do it instantly like that. I thought it would show an interface, kind of like with the arrow shafts, like this. And then you just go through all of them. Wow, or 10 of them, 10 sets rather. That's really good. Okay, well, I might do this during herbivore because I do want herbs and also to train my herbivore for super strength. So the PKing is coming up pretty soon. So, I'll get my fletching up while I do herbivore. Let's do this. I believe I get more and better herbs if I train my herbivore up first. Because my account is so limited, pretty much the only potion I can make with the herbs that I have currently is prayer potion. So, I'm going to boost up to 38 herbivore, and I can do that with a botanical pie. And the fruit required for that is one of these Galanova fruit tops. However, I might burn the pie because I'm not even 52 cooking yet, which is the requirement for it. So, first of all, I'm going to get three of these Galanova fruit tops. Then I'm going to get 52 cooking. I'm going to cook up the pie and then make all the prayer potions that I can. And hopefully get myself a lot of herbivore XP before I start up herbivore. There we go. And got just got the third Galanova fruit top. Good stuff. 52 cooking. Give me that three for three, baby. Come on. Nice. Good start. Even better. Yeah! Now I can boost up my herb lore six times. Nice. 35 herb lore already. Yeah, Alright, 38 herb lore. Botanical pies no longer required to make prayer potions. 
So the rest of this is easy XP. Oh man, it would be so sick if I was able to hit 41 herb lore because then I could use all of my irits as well. And I have a lot of those. That's 18.9k XP right there. But for now, I have made 157 prayer potions. I just don't have any other herbs that I could really make anything into. Terramins require the swamp tar. I can't make those into serums because I haven't done priest in peril. And yeah, just, I can't use anything else really, but it's gonna be all right. I think I'm just gonna start doing herbivore training and I'll get herbs that way. I'll definitely get more renars and such. Oh, what? Why? There we go. Okay, sweet. All right, the first herbivore harvested and hey, nice. Yeah, rune light is pretty overpowered. It tells me exactly where to go. I don't have energy potions for this, so it's gonna be a little longer of a trek every time, but I will manage. There's a lot of downtime while doing this, so I'm gonna make those silver bolts while I'm doing this. Yes, all right, my first full inventory of herbs from Herbivore. I do require lots of low-level herbs for Guthic's Rest, so it's not even that bad that I have only 39 Herblore. But yeah, so the primary reason why I wanted to do this was for making Silver Bolts and getting that fletching up so that I can have an Adamant Crossbow while doing Wilderness Slayer, as the Maple Short Bow is not sufficient right now. But there we go, first full inventory, and yeah, lots of herbs I can't quite use, but I'm gonna grab my Feathers. I'm gonna grab my GP, and I'm also gonna grab these silver bolts, and I'm gonna continue herbivore, but while being a little more efficient with it. Right now, I'm still feeling the pain of having bought all that silver. Ah, man, I don't have enough cash for the feathers. It's gonna cost another 750,000 GP. Woo, my first fossil, nice. But they're quite rare from Herbivore. Hopefully I can get a lot more. First medium fossil and just hit 46 fletching. Just hit 50 fletching maple shortbows, baby. That is great for free-to-play PKing, which I never thought of doing until today. But with higher range, it would actually be sick on this account. My first small case being built. Uh, I can't do the plants quite yet, but I can build this one over here. Oh, yes. There we go, nice! Oh, built a little zygomite. All right, sick. So I've got myself the antique lamp on Herblore, 2000, beautiful. And I've decided to continue Herbivore until level 83, at which point I will go ahead and go to Pro Pro to make a lot of money. I do need some glories anyway, so this is gonna be a quite efficient way to get my money for the feathers I need to keep fletching while I'm doing herbivore. And I need to do a lot of herbivore anyway, so this isn't really inefficient at all. I need so many super strength potions that all the herbs I'm gonna get from this, I will be very happy for in the future. I just made some Guthix rests and I hit 41 herbivore on the way, so... I can use the botanical pies, boost up to 45 and make myself 202 super attack potions. Those will actually be pretty sick for PK because even very small benefits to this attack level make huge differences. All right, just used a Asgarnian Ale to boost my strength a little bit so that I know when the timer will impact my levels every 60 seconds. So when it hits 89, then I use the botanical pie and make super attack potions for an entire minute. Oh, there we go and begin 81 hunter nice let's see them herbs thank you almost 100 kc as well i'm getting a lot of the herbs required for guthic's rest so i need more cups and then redecant into four doses and i've just earned myself 309 cups from that yay 45 herb lore and no longer the requirement to boost up to super attack potions 82 hunter nice just one to go until I can make a lot of money at Pearl Pearl. 47 Herblore. Hey, 83 Hunter Dragon Implings unlocked. It's time to make some money. Let's go. Let's go.